Hello. Based on my last set of videos where I was using Pavre to compare the flat earth versus the globe earth, I decided I was going to revisit one of my observations that I had done a couple of years ago. I started marking on a piece of paper the end of a shadow cast by a gnomon, and I wanted to track it throughout the entire year, not just on the equinox. I know that on the equinox it's going to form a straight line regardless of where you are on the earth but I wanted to see what it would look like on other days of the year and to see how the geometry plays out. Since I had the data from a number of days already for my last videos that I had made I decided to reuse some of the data from that to replicate this in Pavre and to compare what Pavre generated against what I took and marked on these pieces of paper. So you can see in this thumbnail over here, these are the observations that I had made. So I went into Pavre and I created a, a white square like this. It's really a box with virtually no height dimension to it. And I created another one that was gray like this. And I put this one underneath this one. I created a gnomon like this. I also figured out how to be able to generate text and overlay it onto, onto the image like this. And then, of course, I used the data sets that I used in my previous videos to create animations that I'm going to include at the end of this video. But once again, I decided to compare what would the shadow cast look like if it was a globe earth versus a flat earth. The red dots that you see here are representative of the end of the shadow cast if the earth was a globe. And the blue dots that you see here are representative of what it would look like if the earth was flat. The script is a bit of a mess and I don't feel like cleaning it up to make it available just yet. I might end up doing something similar in an upcoming video. But I think for now, this is just going to be a video that I'm going to put out without any links to the script. So I took the image that was generated by this and I added it as a layer. So here you can see I generated for 905. I think that was pretty much the start of this one. And this is the result that I got. It took me a little bit of time to remember why the red line doesn't line up with my observations and I explained in my other video the clipboard that I used this clipboard here was not straight and ended up having a one or two degree bend to it and when I had set this up I made this far side level and what happened was this one was off slightly and it was bent a little bit further south so this side where the gnomon was was not level that would explain why my observations did not line up with the computed observations but as you can see the red lines up with my observations and the blue is not even close to lining up I also took one of the other days that I did, June 7th in this case, and the reason why this doesn't line up with this, I wrote down why whenever I did this. The sun was going behind the tree and I decided to move my setup. And when I did that, I was using the compass that was on the phone and it wasn't calibrated precisely where it should have been. And as a result, you can see that it was slightly off by a couple of degrees. That was the output from Pavre and once again I removed the extra stuff, resized and moved it and once again the red lines line up and the blue lines don't. I had an idea for more uses of the sun's position and it would involve perhaps an architect who wants to show what a house would look like at different times of the year, where the sun would come in and where it would land, let's say maybe on the floor. If somebody's building a house out in the countryside, if they rotate the house a couple of degrees off from lining up with the road, for example, 
it could create a completely different visual effect with the sun lighting the entire room up or only lighting up only half the room, for example. So I went and found online a script that somebody wrote to place all of the components for a house, including the roof, the walls, windows, etc. Placed the camera inside and rotated the house so that you could see kind of what it would look like maybe at 10 o'clock in the morning, for example. So that was one of the other ideas I had, and that was one of the main goals behind making some of these videos. It really should be fairly evident to everyone that the Earth is, at the very least, a globe, whether the sun rotates around the Earth or whether the Earth turns on its axis, it should be fairly conclusive to everyone that the Earth is not flat. But I think what I'm going to do for next week is generate some data points that anyone can use to model whatever they want, accurately positioning the sun for any time of the year. In particular, I got a comment from Wade's Underworld on Twitter, and he was telling me about sundials, even giving me an image of one of them that he wanted to visit at some point and take pictures of. So I think what I'm probably going to do for next week is to create a Pavre script to generate a sundial. I'm going to use some of these other objects that this guy wrote, trees and buildings and things like that to create a reasonably nice looking landscape along with the data required to accurately position the sun for any time of the year and I'll probably make that available for next week or maybe a week after that but at any rate I'm going to include some of the animations that I've made to show what the shadow cast by a gnomon would look like both on globe earth and flat earth for a few days
And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I really would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you again in a video soon enough. So bye for now.